Well, hey there, everyone. It's me, Esther Barkew, and today I want to talk to you about jealousy and your vibration. We know that jealousy is a lower, heavier vibration, and it is exactly the type of vibration that when we hold it as a dominant focus in our energetic field, in our thoughts, in our feeling system, we push away what we want, often that which we are jealous of, and attract to us more of that jealousy energy in people, situations, circumstances, and events. Now, I addressed this topic in the last Vibe Up in December with our group because it came up during that Vibe Up event, but I want to address it with you all now. Why? Because in my past, I was a very jealous, jealous person. In fact, I would say the peak of my jealousy was in my teens and in my 20s, it started to lessen lessen over time because I started doing my inner work. And now I have a whole different perspective about jealousy that has freed me from that energy. And I'd like to share it with you. So back in my teens, I was jealous about everything and about everyone, really and truly. That term, the green-eyed jealous monster, that was me. I'm not proud to say it, but that was my past. I was jealous of everything. If someone went on a trip with their family and we didn't go on a trip, if somebody spent time with their family and I wasn't spending time with my family, um, I was jealous of the girls who after school they would go home and their moms would have homemade snacks for them and they could play a little bit and then do their homework because often I had to go home and maybe I was alone because my parents were working, my sisters were there, or there was nobody to greet us with homemade snacks or even at the point where I had to go home and work on the farm. <laughs> right? And not enjoy myself as, you know, my fellow classmates were doing. I had one girlfriend, she would go home and she would sit down with her mom and they would watch Young and the Restless. That was the big thing back then. But oh, heaven forbid, if I sat down and watched Young and the Restless, first of all, my, my dad believed that no TV after school, that was a waste of time, a waste of energy, you know, either do your homework, go outside or work on the farm. I was jealous of people who sang really well because I didn't sing well. I was jealous of the people who were nominated into student councils, who had clothes, shoes, purses on. I was jealous of everything, absolutely everything. I was this big ball of jealousy and therefore I kept strengthening it and strengthening it and strengthening it. So when I had my great awakening back in about 2004, I realized that thoughts become things and what we focus on expands. And jealousy was very, very dominant in my energy field. And so I did the inner work, the inner work that I do with you, my clients, the people who um, I do personal sessions with. And I turned within and I spoke to that part of me, that aspect of me that was extremely jealous. And I just loved her. I loved her. I could see her passion. I could see her energy. I could see how she was wanting so much out of life. But I also had to tell her, hey, this jealousy is taking us further away. This jealousy is not getting us where we want to go. If you took that passion of jealousy and you funneled it into conscious creation and manifestation and focused on that, imagine what could happen. And that really created a, a strong inner change for me, a, a big shift, and the jealousy began to lessen and lessen and lessen. And over time, I would say 90% of it went away. And then I, I started moving into this patterning of, I would be jealous, but I would say, oh, I'm jealous, but in a really, really good way. 
because it was to me it was jealous was the word that i could put on it so if somebody one of my uh, girlfriends or somebody i was following on social media that i you know knew in day-to-day -day life had an opportunity or went on a trip or bought something really great or something amazing happened to their life i was really at a point truthfully that i could say i'm really jealous in a good way you go girl you did it okay but still there was that there was that underlying current so i created more consciousness about it and i realized that when i was being sent to this energy of jealousy within because nobody's provoking me they're just doing what they're doing it was this jealousy that was coming up from within it was because I wanted something it was showing me very clearly what I wanted and I went wow brilliant if in those moments that I get jealous even if I say it's a it's a good kind of jealous it doesn't matter it's still jealousy it's just a, a different frequency of the same vibration what if I started looking at it as wow thank you very much you are helping me to get clear on what I really, really want. Whoa, well, that just shifted everything again for me. So anytime I would hear about something, see something, um, a friend would have this amazing celebration, I'd go, ooh, I'm a little bit jealous about it. Thank you very much for getting me clear on what I really want. And I acknowledged the jealousy, I acknowledged that emotion coming up, but I switched it so fast because I got clear on what I wanted. It was a blessing, loved it, loved it. And then it was time to take it to the next level. So if you, like me, are a student of energy, vibration, laws of the universe, that our thoughts create things, that we are the creators of our own reality, when you have one of those magical miracle moments when an opportunity comes your way that is just like oh my god wow when your wishes and dreams come true what do we know about that well we know that you have aligned with that situation you've aligned with that thing you have aligned with your inner being you have opened up your funnel of receiving and that experience that material good that opportunity that person that situation has come into your life so then i started to think and i thought all right so i have this jealous moment it helps me to get clear on what i really want what's different about that person than me they are aligned they are aligned and allowed it in yes which means if i want that too and i'm not getting it i am not aligned but easily fixed all i have to do is get into alignment oh my god do you know how freeing that was i went from turning jealousy as a victim consciousness as a pity party, as poor me, as life is a struggle, of nothing ever good happens to me, to jealousy coming up, gets me clearer on what I want, tells me it's a signal. It's a signal from the universe saying, hey girl, you are just out of alignment from what you want. And all you have to do if you really want it is get into alignment and it is yours too. And we know how to get into alignment. I have been doing videos about it. You know this from your own studying. You raise your vibration. When you raise your vibration, you move into alignment with your soul, your inner being. You move into alignment with universe. You co-create with universe. You open to receive. Absolutely. And that's what I've been putting into practice. And in the upcoming Vibe Up to Line Up to Your Wishes and Dreams event, this is what I am going to guide you through, the pro process of raising your vibration so that you align within with your inner being and you line up with your wishes and dreams to begin to receive them in tangible form in your life experience. Oh, 
The first one was great. This one is going to be even better because the energies of 2020 manifesting your dreams and wishes come true energy. I'm going to put a link below with details of the class. It starts March 8th, 30 days, runs till April 6th. All the details, how the class is going to unfold is there and sign up. Please sign up early so that you are linked up to our sharing and video boards and you receive all of the information. And also um, save the date because the next Whispers from the Soul retreat is happening this fall. Uh, September 27th to October 1st, we are going to Marrakesh, Morocco to expand our feminine energies and live more, more as the divine feminine. We are getting really close to setting the final itinerary, just waiting for word from our Riyadh, which are the hotels in Morocco. Once that information comes through, I'm going to create a beautiful trip page for you and we're going to be good to go. But in the meantime, because I know some of you have to book your holidays off in advance, book that time off. We're going to have a limited amount of um, spaces and beds available for this. It's going to be fantastic. One of the highlights is going to be a divine feminine full moon ceremony in the Moroccan desert, under the stars, under the moon, living in luxury tents. All right, so stay close for that information. In the meantime, the vibe up is starting March 8th. We are getting closer and closer. It's like three weeks away. Oh my goodness. And if you've missed this one because you're catching this video late, then hey, just check my website, whispersfromthesoul.com and find out what the next upcoming live program is. So for now, I hope you consider this new perspective on jealousy. Let's release that from your vibration and vibe up. Ciao for now.